Guys, it is 8 uh, 23 and you're watching uh, Breakfast Television on this uh, crisp October day, October day, which is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this is what we're wearing our pink ribbons. Joining me now on the BT couch is Anna Capobianco Skipworth, a breast cancer survivor and uh, I'm going to say hero. I mean, you've really turned, we had the expression of life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, you've, you've made. Lots of lemonade, I'll say. Cocktails. Cocktails. You have enough, you got enough fruit thrown at you to make whatever cocktail in the world. The best cocktails. So Anna, tell us a little bit about your story with cancer. I mean, it's breast cancer and it's a double mastectomy that we were dealing with mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I ended up having uh, two mastectomies within 13 months. That's the key number, 13. I think uh, my husband and I got married on the 13th of November. We thought it was our lucky number. Little did we know that <laughs> that 13 would come up again. Um, I was first uh, diagnosed. We thought it was just a little lump, a lumpectomy, and uh, three weeks later they were removing my breast, spreading the ribs, scraping, it was uh, invasive. Uh, I was told I was extremely lucky uh, if I wouldn't have been operated maybe six, eight months. So that's quite the wake up call. Mm -hmm. And um, 13 months later we were removing the second breast. So that was okay because then I became a little bit more normal in a way because I was evened out. So it wasn't so bad. We, we should say Anna that you found, uh, you've, you found a humorous twist to all this which has helped you. To, to get out of sometimes very dark situations. Well, I'm married to a Mr. Bean, so uh, <laughs> you know he's he comes from England too. So he's really uh, been my inspiration for that. He taught me that it's okay to laugh, and you know you need to sometimes. Um, you can cry. I mean, I went into my corner and cried. Uh, but one big lesson I learned: it was okay to raise my hand and say, "I need help." Yeah. You know, get me up. I need help, and that's one of the best gifts I received. Yeah, and Anna, you also took professional photos of of the after, after the double mastectomy, which a lot of people, you know, these are, it, it's, it's a very, um, it's a shocking image to a lot of people, but you chose to get it done and I'd like for you to say why, tell us a little bit about why you chose to document that if you will. Well, are. I really had never felt more of a woman and more feminine uh, until both breasts were removed. Really? I, I think it made me realize that it didn't, I didn't need breasts to, to be a woman and uh, it was a little bit of a kind of a gift for my husband. I said, you know, most men would love for their wives to walk around topless so I had a topless picture done of myself which was completely topless without any breasts <laughs> and, and that was his gift so uh, and I was without breasts for about 10 years and so. then you and you got a reconstructive surgery I uh, was allowed to because I, then I had had ovarian so I had to wait and you had ovarian it, cancer we have to yeah, uh, a pre ovarian a pre yeah and uh, so I had to really wait to have the reconstruction and at that point I felt so comfortable and then I turned 50 and then a lot of things changed in my life and I said it was the opportunity arose and uh, I say it was because I was a terrible golfer. Uh, I had always said that I didn't have any handicap when I swung that club and I was just terrible. I needed an excuse so I had a pair of C's done. So. A but, pair uh, of C's done. Anna, I, I, your breath of fresh air. I do have a very quick message for the ladies of home. We run out of time but I, do you want to say t something to the women who are, are struggling with this right now? Yeah, yeah you know, it. Um, I do laugh about it. I, that's the way I get through it. It's obviously a very serious illness and a lot of women are afraid. I was terrified when I was first diagnosed. And I want women to realize they have to take their life into their own hands. Check your breasts. Don't panic. You know, 80% of lumps are nothing. Take your life into your own hands. Be as healthy as possible. See a doctor on a regular basis. If you have a lump, don't be afraid. Yes, they will remove the lump. They might even have to remove the breast. But it's your life. And you are still a woman. It doesn't matter. And you're still here and you're living proof of that. And I love it. Thank you so much for joining us, Thank Anna. You. Very inspirational story. Guys, stay tuned. You're watching Breakfast Television only on City. Thank you so, so much. Thank That's you amazing. very much.